Hello New Zealand, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us and hope you had a great long weekend. Well the weather forecast this week kicks off with a bit of low pressure making for a few downpours and thunderstorms but the week ahead is looking mostly settled including Anzac Day although there will be a few showers around which we'll talk about in a moment and this weekend we've got a classic autumn setup with a cold front bringing warm windy weather then a burst of rain and colder air flows. So let's kick off with the animated wind map for Tuesday. And as you can see, we've got this large area of low pressure. It is very weak, but it's enough to just spark a few downpours. We've already seen some impressive uh, clouds tracking around northern New Zealand, but let's have a look at this one that was seen around Auckland this morning. This photo taken by Ruth, and thank you very much, Ruth, for sending this in to us on our Twitter account. But you can see the size of this huge cloud, but it was down in this area that we're most focused, down where the sea is, I'll show you the next photo. This explains it a little better. You can see these water spouts that were coming down. Some of them were funnel clouds. They didn't touch the water, but when they touch the water, they become a funnel cloud. And when they touch land, they become a tornado. So we had a bit of an alert out this morning for Waiheke Island with these big downpours, thunderstorms, and a couple of uh, water spouts nearby. Obviously, the ships would have had to have stopped for a moment as that was passing on through. So thanks again, Ruth, for that. The general risk around the North Island for Tuesday is actually quite a low one. Green indicates low so there might be a couple of isolated thunderstorms and downpours today as that tracks along that sort of northeastern coastline of the country. Let's have a look now at Wednesday. This is the setup. You can see that weak area of low pressure a little bit further out to the east. That allows a southerly to come in around the western side of Northland with a couple of showers, otherwise dry across New Zealand. Just a couple of showers though returning back around Gisborne and Hawke's Bay from that weak low. Here's Anzac Day and we've got slightly higher uh, resolution with this one. You can see a few more showers around Hawke's Bay by the looks of it, maybe spreading out around uh, Wided Upper and Gisborne and East Cape, but it doesn't look like a huge amount. But I do think Wided Upper is perhaps uh, on the outer edges of it, Hawke's Bay perhaps more in the firing line for some of those light drizzly showers on Anzac morning. But just about everybody else is dry. There is some rain around Fiordland and maybe some showers spread further northwards later on. Hopefully stays away from the ma main centres for those dawn parades. And the last thing about Anzac Day, inland, places like Waikato and inland through the South Island, they're pushing up towards the late teens, early 20s. In fact, Hamilton's got a high of 22 degrees and a sunny day coming. Let's get to Friday and uh, we've got a bit of a change in our weather pattern, a typical autumn one. Look at the storm down here in the Southern Ocean. So there's a big high building out over Australia and another big high to our north. So the North Island's pretty settled. So is most of the South Island with just a few showers over on the West Coast. But those showers on Saturday, here's our Saturday setup, turns to rain and it becomes heavy. And on top of that, you've got strong to gale force northwesterlies ahead of it. You've got heavy rain on the west coast, so there could be both wind and rain warnings issued from that from our government forecast and met service. Look out for those taxpayer uh, warnings. And then you've also got a colder change coming through after it. So you get some snow on the mountains and ranges as well. So a typical autumn weekend on the way with this changeable weather moving through. And look at all the windy, showery westerlies behind it. It is very typical for this time of the year. That is all from me. Enjoy the short week or enjoy the school holidays, depending on uh, how your life is affected by them. And we'll see you again on Wednesday with our next update.